Hello, my friends. It is me, Karen Valentine, and we are back for part three of this adorable Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. If um, you haven't seen part one and part two, um, the link to get this uh, reference photo is down in the description box below. It comes from Pixabay. And um, you can get the photo and draw along with me if you would like to do so. So I'm, I'm looking at my um, piece here and I am honestly not sure <laughs> if my blacks have faded out or if it's just my imagination, um, I'm a little bit, and there's something in me, there's, there's something in me that remembers having this problem before, um, even on a piece that I did, I think, here on YouTube. So you would think that I would remember if that happened before, but unfortunately, um, <laughs> I don't, I don't remember. Um, I probably should look up, it would have been the cat um, that that would have been the problem with. And it's very odd. So I think I'm going to reach out to my um, Facebook group. There's actually a Facebook group called um, Artworks on Drafting Film. And um, I think I'm gonna reach out to them and ask if anybody else has had um, that issue. I find it very strange if, if if it is an issue because it's not like it's um, a porous paper where the um, colored pencil can soak into the paper which has happened to me before and that's a <laughs> big pain in the butt um, so I don't know if it's that I again I'm not sure if it's that I accidentally maybe rubbed on it or I just, I just don't know the answer to that. So um, if you're having issues with that yourself, um, I will try and find out if that really is happening or if it's my imagination. But truly, I, I'm kind of thinking that it's happening because I'm looking, I'm looking at this piece and there's all these places where the color would have been really dark. And it's... Um, it's just kind of faded out, and I so I'm, I'm a little confused as to why that's happening. Although it looks somewhat okay down here, um, I don't know. It's very interesting. Actually, this right here looks like it's lighter than it was. So um, yeah, I d I don't I don't know the answer to that. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but I'm going to not worry about it for the time being. <laughs> I'm just going to keep on going. So I, uh, let's see, we need to pull out, <clears throat> excuse me, we need to pull out some colors here. So I've got um, Burnt Sienna and I've got Burnt Umber and I've got um, Beaster and black and white, and I think we'll probably use 20%, uh, I'm sorry, warm gray two. <laughs> and um, and if there's anything else that I um, pull out to use, I will let you know what that is. So I'm going to start with the Beaster. I believe that's what I have been starting with all along. And I'm going to get a clean paper towel because it looks like I used that one for some cleaning and it was definitely not clean. So I'll we'll just do that. And um, yeah, so I got a new bulb for my light. Um, so now I have two lights, one on either side of, um, of my work area. And the light that I had been using before was a 
was a cool, they called it a cool white bulb. But even when I looked at it, it still to me had a, um, a warm look to it. And the light that came with um, my, my new camera um, tripod setup um, had a daylight bulb in it. And it definitely, you could definitely see the difference between the two colors. And I'm wondering if that's why I was just having problems getting accurate um, colors. Anyway, so I bought a new bulb on Amazon for like six bucks, which was very nice that they were not very expensive. And so now I have two daylight bulbs in my, um, in my studio on either side of the, my working area. And I am really happy. I can see a lot better, so. So I've decided that, yes, I like working on an angle, even with my colored pencils. Um, I think it's better for my neck because I'm not I'm bending, oh, I'm not hunching over the table and looking down. I'm, um, I'm much more, um, my posture is better and my neck is, is basically just, normal, like I'm not bending it down to look at stuff, so I'm happy about that. Because when you spend your days all day long um, working on <laughs> art at your desk, you got to have good, comfortable position or else problems develop. I don't want to have problems. I used to um, do blog design and I would sit in front of my computer. So this is um, burnt sienna. I would sit in front of my computer all day long doing HTML and fun, fun stuff. I mean, it was, it was fun to, it was being creative. It was more creativity than, than the HTML coding that I was doing. But anyway, um, I got to the point where I couldn't um, sit at my desk and work 
on stuff any longer because my shoulders and my neck was just killing me. And I tried really hard to keep my posture good and to you know, not do anything that would cause those issues. And yet, it didn't seem to matter. Even today, when I sit down and um, work at the computer for longer than a couple minutes at a time, my neck and shoulders just start killing me. And I, you know, I assume that it's like, I don't know, tension or something. But um, I did not want that to happen when it came to artwork because that would make me very, very, very sad if I couldn't do this. All right, this is Caput Morton Violet. I'm not sure how much of that I want to use. Just a little bit, maybe. And maybe some of uh, the burnt umber. Back to the sienna brown. No, burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. Okay, so let's try a little bit more Beaster because I feel like it's not quite um, yellow enough, even though even though when I used the cream it was way too, it was way too yellow. Um, I think it needs a little bit more golden tones.
It's a good thing my camera has, uh, what do you call that? Motion fix, because I feel like every time I look up at my screen, the camera is just wiggling from me, shaking it, but I don't ever recall having a shaking issue when I look at the film, at the, you know, the video. Thankfully. Okay, I think I want some more dark. So, I'll do some more. Let's see, burnt umber, caput mortem violet, walnut brown. What do I use? Let's just, I'm just gonna try the walnut brown. Yeah, see the burnt umber still has a, a little bit more yellow undertone to it, so I think I'll stick with the burnt umber. I feel like somehow I've managed to get this um, this line right here that I don't really want. I'm not sure what I did to make that happen, but let's see if we can't blend that away. This is Cap uh, Caput Mortem Violet. a little bit better. Okay, a little more sienna brown. We're just probably going to keep switching back and forth between this one and the beaster. We have to get enough <clears throat> layers built up here to be able to use the slice tool anyway. Probably should have. I'm just probably should have um, done a little wiggle. Not too late. Still can. Little wiggle right here. It's just really enough to just give that hair a little texture. Kind of like it. And then we don't have to rely completely on. the um, slice tool to do that. Okay. Um, don't know that this is going to do anything, but I'm going to use it anyway. This is the cream. No, ivory. Sorry. Ivory. little bit of okay like that all right let's do some in here before we break out the slice
I'm gonna do some <laughs> it's been a long time since I've heard that sound. Can't use that sharpener with pastels. Wish I could. I miss the convenience of a pencil sharpener when I'm working with the pastel pencils. Okay, I want to build up a little bit more color right there so that we have a place for the white to go. I don't have to make those marks. before I forget. I'm going to do a little bit of... Not that I would forget, but... I don't know why I said that. But we'll get a little bit of that darkness coming in here first. down here and then works its way up. light color. Okay, need a lot more dark going on in there. So, 
if we do some burnt umber. There's something either uh, underneath it or sitting here on top. I can feel a little something there because I could I can't feel it anymore so more burnt uh, burnt sienna okay I want it to be less red one of those reds in there, but I think um, let's just try some walnut brown. some of that coming up into this light area as well. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely thinking that this black, I didn't find it with any of the other colors, but this black definitely seemed like it faded because those eyes are not as dark as they were when I finished them the other day very odd or not <laughs> I don't know let's go back to Beaster okay when I compare the two sides they look pretty close in um color and tone, so I think we're good there. Um, maybe we go ahead and break out the 
Let's see, this is, break out the slice tool. <laughs> a really bad habit of not finishing my thoughts. Okay, so this is that part. So we'll just put a little bit more of this in here. And a little bit more burnt umber. do a little bit more depth here so we'll use black although I do have one called dark sepia here somewhere don't I somewhere yes let's try dark sepia first instead of going straight for black Eraser and our slice tool. Um, let's let's do our white up here. Those lines that we're seeing are um, on the underside. off your blade every once in a while helps we're gonna just erase
So if we go up here, why don't I zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little bit better? We'll push this over so that we stay in frame. I know I was really close on the edge on the first video. Um, I can see better. I can see the screen more easily when I do it on an angle like this. So hopefully that will not happen. area here which is lighter than everything else back in. Fill it right back in. Okay. And that I didn't quite do right, but I'm not going to worry about it. I think it's still okay. Yeah, no, I did do it wrong. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit more color right in here. Take my black. This over here really should be much lighter than it is. So I think that'll work for that bit. This needs more color. a little bit of I 
think that looks pretty good. Yes, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so we need some maybe dark sepia. I know you can't see the reference photo, so it's always kind of nice to see the photo. So I'm going to fold... Fold it in half. I think we can scoot over a little, just a little bit. Let's do that for now. Okay. Dark sepia somewhere. Where are you? There it is. Okay, so I'm going to Kind of want to erase these lines right now because they're um, they're distracting me. Okay, this is the bottom of the chin. This is the bottom of the white. So we can go ahead and put some. to kind of mark off where and I probably want to I think I want to do that before I do the ears um, actually I need even though you won't be able to see it to open up my page. Let's see. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to keep it so you can see. I'm going to fold it one more time. a little bit because part of me is feeling like it's I did something wrong and I don't know what that is yet but something doesn't look right here okay so if that is this you can barely see it but it's and this is all gray this is the chin. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm going to start throwing some gray, some warm gray, maybe warm gray three. This is always kind of a hard part for me because I, um, I'm not very good at I'm not very good at working on white paper when I'm when I want to do whites. I, I my brain just doesn't um, think that way. It kind of you know it wants to be able to put white on top of 
all the colors, <laughs> which is why I work with pastels and on tan paper. And even though I can pull away, I want to um, not always have to do that. kind of want to learn how to work in the negative a little bit better. feel like my camera is wobbling a lot. I'm hoping that that does not show up on the on the video. Okay, I'm kind of thinking I might want to do some cool or, or in polychromos case, cold. So we'll try some cold gray three mixed in with the warm gray three. Switching back between the cold and the warm. I think it needs both. Yeah, this is not white, so this all needs to get filled in, I think, because it's really not white. Still feeling like something's not, I'm not doing something right here. Um, maybe this, oh, this uh, needs to be a little bit bigger. All right, I'm going to zoom out so you can see the reference photo a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so I think this is not coming out far enough. could be part of my problem. Okay, so... Huh. This is kind of where that white starts to come out. needs to come further. That's getting better. And then we've got, oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> figure out where I'm at here. This is the um, that's the what do you call that? <laughs> the jowl. I don't know. I don't know what to call that. Um, so then this is actually lighter 
and this is, this is use one gray two for in here we want to have our little line it's a little bit darker right here. And here. And actually under, I think this is this. So I think This is a little bit lighter. When our first curls start from the first curl really is about right there. It's just gonna be that. All of this is still pretty dark. Let's mix some warm grain in here as well. It really needs both colors because the blue, the cold gray is too blue and the warm gray is too brown. Get some more. Um, I think it actually might need some actual brown of some kind in here too, something darker. But no, maybe not brown. Let's see, what do we got? We've got warm gray five. curls. I'm dreading those curls. <laughs> I'm going to come in and erase the back side of this here in just a minute because it's Get a little bit of the burnt sienna. Make sure I'm putting it in the right place here. So why did I do that? I think that was not right. Um, this is this. So I think just so that I don't get myself confused, I'm just going to pull this back a little bit. This is going to be a curl. So we have just a 
little bit more of this here. And then the uh, warm gray two. <laughs> There's a lot going on in here. Um, I don't know what to do here other than just blend it out, I guess. some um, I'm gonna do it right now because otherwise I might forget I'm just gonna put a little bit more of this uh, burnt sienna in here and actually that kind of looks purpley so let's do cap up more to violet too far. Nope, not too bad. It's going to be okay. Um, let's take that Caput Mortem Violet also and bring that up just a little bit in here. And then we have to do something warm gray three. I don't know if that's right or not. But... Uh, and then this looks like maybe some cold gray. I want to come back in here too with, I don't know, maybe, no, probably better do light. Um, I think I'm going to use cold gray one in here. I need a I need a darker color in here still cold gray uh sorry warm gray 5 try. I'm debating on if I should go ahead and get some color. I don't know. I'm, I'm <laughs> I don't know. Right now 
I'm just pulling back to get some lighter colors in here. This is gonna want some good things like that. This probably is too early to be doing this, but it, it's helping me kind of figure out what I need to do. Okay, before I go any further. out of the way. Okay. Um, that's not... I think that's not too bad. Kind of has the softness and the blend that I want. This still has some work to do on it, but that's okay. This we have some work to do for sure. In fact, I need to double check something. I hope this isn't too terribly boring for you guys. I know there's a lot of, um, you know, checking and checking, but it's how I get an accurate drawing. So, um, I want to take some Beaster. And make sure that I come in plenty far. And then this, that's right. Um, that might need to go in a little bit further. going to be hard to tell because I still have to I think that'll be okay um, I'm going to put so this dark spot Kind of at the end of the so that's mostly just there to help give me a point of reference something to look at. <laughs> I know this is probably really boring. Sorry. 
Okay, how do I do this? Let's see, the difference between the end of the, the face, the mouth, whatever that is, the muzzle, the end of the muzzle here to the end of the muzzle here is about that far. So. So, I need to pull that one up a little bit. Actually, what I could do is measure from that point to that point. So that point. Oh yeah, we need to pull up quite a bit. It's way too long. Way too long. Actually, that's about right because this is, is about that much. Okay, that helped. That will make a big, big difference. Big, big, big difference. I hadn't have checked that, then I would have made his muzzle way too long on that side. And then it wouldn't have looked right. So I'm going to pull this in here. Still does not, no, nope, it's still not right. Okay, so now um, this is actually only about this. So I think we'll come in with some darker tones in here. Still looks to me like this is still not right. So from the bottom, yep, we need to still come in further. Look better once I do the um, whiskers, um, hairs. <laughs> okay, let's do a little bit of some darker color. Let's do um, burnt umber in here.
making sure that I'm blocking things out right here. This needs to be more like that shape. And that'll all be gray. And that's going to have a little bit of light color, and then we're going to start getting darker in there again. Okay, we wanna I wanna make sure that I get this right. try and achieve this. I'm going to start with um, my uh, eraser and then if I need to use the slice tool I will. I think I'm going to need the slice tool because that's going to give me the uh, the wigglies that I want. add our white um, to this side of the face. We haven't done that yet. Um, it's still not um, shaped right. It still it looks so wide to me. Now granted, I've got to get that in. So that's going to make a difference. Um, so maybe I better do that. Um, Okay, so we've got cold gray. Sometimes it's just something silly that um, throws off your perspective and the way that it looks to your eye, and that might fix the problem, but I suspect that I need to come in even still a little bit more. Debating on using a black. Mm, this is cold gray. This is my black. Mm. You know, really, when you don't press down very hard, the black kind of becomes a gray. Although this is kind of a Purpley gray, like a pain, like a pain's gray, like a pain's gray. Let's try this. May still not be enough, but no, it's not. It's still not. Um, it's still not. 
I don't know any other way to describe it. Like, I just see purple tones when I look in here, even though it's gray. And this isn't, this paint's gray isn't doing it. It's not the right color. So, and this isn't going to be right. It's going to be too... This is the Delft Blue. Nope, that's too blue. This is going to be too blue also. Darn it. Okay. Well, maybe we just... Don't worry about it. to break out my white. I can't remember how far up I came with it. I'm thinking in here is where I need to go. What I liked about adding the white to the already white. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. I liked adding the white because then when then when it's not on top of the white paper you can still see white. so much better. I can actually see what I'm doing now. Right up to the top of the head.
Okay, before I get any further with that, I really need to do another check because it still doesn't feel right to me. So, I think I still have to bring that darkness up a little bit. We have we have room for the um, the stringy bits of hair to come out. That looks better. And then uh, again, that skinniest part. If I if I count. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where to count that from. I think that's my problem is that I'm counting the the full on hair bit. So really right I still think I'm going to add just that much more in there okay now there's room to do the hairs It still just looks too big to me. Um, I'm going to add some warm. Nope, warm, warm, warm. Warm gray. That might be too dark. Warm gray. Warm gray five. I'm going to pull that up in here. find that happy place for that, that scraping to happen just the right way. If you don't, it doesn't really... It's not going to do what you want. There we go. This is not dark enough because the the um, the feathering is not showing up. So I need to get some. Five is that too dark? It feels like that's going to be too dark, but maybe not. So this is the warm gray five. I'm getting that up in there. Otherwise, the white whiskers are just not going to show up. And we want them showing up. So. Let's try that. Blend that a little bit with warm gray too. Thank you. 
want to add some more of that white. That's better. It's not bad. Um, Okay, I think I want to put the, um, the white paper back. It's amazing how much brighter it gets. Okay. So, let's... still show. We just kind of glaze some of this color in here. And if we want to, we can use So what I'm trying to see here is that right now everything kind of still looks too perfect. I think I want to pull Let's see maybe we do a little bit of It's not terrible. It's not wonderful, but it's not terrible. We're at about an hour and a half, and I've been trying to keep my videos at about that time frame. I kind of feel like even though we have more videos to complete a project, um, it's easier to break them up into slightly shorter segments rather than two or two and a half hours. I think I'm happy with all of that. So we'll probably do the ear 
next <laughs> and save the hardest part for last. Um, this is not uh, that hair. Yeah, that, that curly hair. That curly hair. Sheesh. Um, I, I haven't done hair like that before. Um, on, um, with color pencil on drafting film, it's always been... Uh, if I've done it, it's, I've done it with pastels. So this will be a new learning experience for me. I still <laughs> cannot get over that I don't think that's right. That's very frustrating for me. I'm very, um, I'm very frustrated because look, it looks right. It looks right and And yet, actually, I should say it looks wrong to me, but when I measure it, it's right. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. It could be that it just needs, it just needs the rest of the... You know what? I don't care whether it looks right or not. I am making, I'm pulling it in some more. I just don't, uh, I don't like the way it looks. Actually, still feels better to me a little bit. Let's bring this up a little bit in here. Well, all right. Well, hopefully the, uh, the black doesn't fade out again to nothing. I just still don't quite understand what happened there. And hopefully the whole thing doesn't shake because every time I look up at my camera, it's wobbling. So I don't know what will happen there. There's a pencil stroke on the other side that I have to erase. But all in all, it's not too shabby. Not too bad at all. So um, I think I will, I will end this one for now. And um, I will pick up again on the next video. So I hope you had fun. Um, and hopefully learned something or found something that can help you um, on your own artistic journey. Until I see you again, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Bye.